Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can use a simple WordPress plugin to build a continuous mailing list that will help you grow your customer base and hopefully make more money in the process. So one of the first things that you want to start out um, to make sure is that you're using a WordPress uh, website as well as you'll need to set up a MailChimp account and so with that let's get started so one of the things that I want to show you what I mean by multiple WordPress pop-up will go to a site that I'm using here for this example and it's called ccbtutorials.com and when you visit the site on your initial visit you're presented with this this is called a modal pop-up um, just a simple pop-up that basically you can entice or engage your readers to uh, want to subscribe to re receive more information about your business or just your line of business and services. Now, most of the time, uh, what I tend to do is use this to one, build up um, my mailing list so that as I post new content on my blog, then I can email that out to um, those individuals, which we won't cover in this tutorial, but it'll be in another tutorial coming soon. Um, but as you can see with CCB tutorials, I, I just simply email tips and tricks, you know, alerts and updates, how to's, the like. Um, if a user then enters their first name, their email address, they're given a um, thank you or a sign up message, confirmation, confirmation message that then will kick off an email to their inbox that they'll have to opt into. Um, if not, they just simply click the close button there and they continue on to the site. So that being said, we'll clear the history here so that we can um, have that pop up generate a little later on in the tutorial. And so with that, let's get started. One of the first things that you'll want to do is log into your WordPress. Um, website and so like I said I'm using ccbtutorials.com I'll get logged in here and so one of the first things that I want to do um, is go to plugins left hand side go to add new and in the search you'll want to type in WP pop-up click enter then it will bring up a list of pop-up plugins. Here's the WP pop-up plugin that we're after. You can see I've already installed it. If it were not installed, you would see a button that says install now. So for you, you're probably gonna have to click the install now button and go through those steps. Once you get it installed, you'll see you have an option here to the left called WP pop-up in the main dashboard menu, or you can go to plugins and then under plugins, you also have the WP pop up that you can choose to either edit um, from there or you go to settings and then you have the WP pop up settings there in that menu. And so once you go to the WP pop up settings, you're giving two options of general. And most of these um, options are just default options. You can also include a, uh, a redirect URL. So let's say you wanted to do a pop up, uh, something like, hey, you know, submit your first name and email address to receive a uh, download or to download a uh, free e ebook or PDF of some sort. Then you could simply, once the person enters their first name and email address, then ha redirect them to a page that allows for them to download. Um, so that's how you can use that redirect URL. You can also have an in pop up uh, thanks message, which we're using uh, the unknown error message and then the subscriber already exists error message. Change those accordingly and then just click the save button there. And then here's the MailChimp um, credentials. So what you'll need to do is go to MailChimp and we'll cover that here real quick. So MailChimp. I think it's a great uh, resource that small businesses should use. One is that they have a couple of different pricing options, one being the entrepreneur option, whereby you can 
um, you know, send 12,000 emails per month for up to 2,000 subscribers for free. That's right. No contracts, no credit card information is required. It's free. Now, once you go beyond that, which if we click learn more, then, um, We'll click learn more into the growing business. Then you can see that they have a tiered option for pricing, which um, is not bad. But then the the good thing about the pricing is that you you get unlimited um, emails for the paid option. So now you can kind of see you know how your um, monthly subscribers tends to stack up. So if we put in four thousand there's the pricing for 4000 which is like $50 a month, which isn't bad. Uh, but needless to say, if you haven't signed up, sign up here by clicking the sign up for free button or simply just log in to your account. I'm going to use my CCB Tutorials account for this. And so uh, we'll log in. Once you log in, then what you'll want to do is go to list. I've already created a list. You can create your list here under uh, create a list. And then what you'll want to do is go to settings after you've created your list. Click list name and defaults. And then to the right, you have what's called a list ID. Go ahead and copy this list ID from your uh, newly created list. Go back to your WordPress setup and now you see there's list ID. You'll copy and paste that list ID there. You'll also see that you have an API key. So if you go back to Word, I mean uh, MailChimp, then what you'll do is go to account under extras, API keys, and you'll want to scroll down to generate or create a key clicking here once your key is created it'll be listed here you'll want to copy and paste that value back into here save those changes and now you've integrated your WP pop-up plugin to your um, MailChimp um, account or rather your list so now that when people sign up, they'll be added to uh, your MailChimp list that you created. So in this instance, people will be added to my ccbtutorials.com newsletter uh, list. So when we head back over to the pop-up, we'll go to on the left-hand side here to WP pop-up. I've already created a CCB sign-up newsletter. Um, you can add a new a new pop-up and you can add as many of those as you as you'd like. For this one, we'll just edit it. So as you can see, this is the CCB um, sign-up newsletter. There's the title. Subscribe and receive the following. There's the inside CCB tips and tricks, instant CCB tutorial alerts, um, and then the, the how-to videos. So these are the three bullets that you saw. Um, you can add in another subheading. I choose not to. But then you can also use, you know, first name, um, email address. I'm going to change the submit to subscribe just because one, I've just read in many places as far as it goes to internet marketing, using subscribe versus submit, you're likely to get people to actually sign up using subscribe uh, more than you would submit. That being said, um, what we'll do just to show you the, that modal again is we'll open up another browser go to CCB just so you can see it so this is what the user will, will see and so now you can see this is what the back end looks like so we use subscribe these are all default you'll want to be sure to make sure that this is enabled without it it won't show the pop-up modal most of these are default settings that you can change I typically make sure to put it on home page um, make sure that I hide it on mobile devices and then um, I, I set it to zero but a lot of times you can set it to 30 I'll, I'll, for this I'll set it to seven meaning that every seven days if a person hasn't visited they'll receive this pop-up a lot of times it can be annoying but you know the more you the more they're presented with the opportunity the more they're likely to sign up so 
we update and that's pretty much it in a nutshell that's how you um, you know essentially have or create or integrate your pop-up uh, your WP pop-up plugin using MailChimp in your WordPress website so if you have any other questions I'll be doing an upcoming tutorial where I'll show you how to um, actually create an RSS driven campaign using your MailChimp account whereby when you publish content on your blog then it'll show or rather automatically send an email to those users of your subscriber list so we'll cover that in a future tutorial but for now that's been it like I said this has been Alvin with uh, kickstart commerce and hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it uh, helpful and like I said, I hope using WP Pop-Up plugin, you'll be able to generate um, you know, more customers as well as hopefully more business. So stay tuned to the next tutorial. That's it for now.